And this is like nothing to do with my film career. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is more me, I guess. I've always liked black and white. I mean, I, I, I wish I could have shot more movies in black and white, really. I did The Man Who Wasn't There with the Coens, but um, I like black and white because it's so much more about the juxtaposition of ideas and the, the, the frame, you know. The composition. The composition, yeah. you know. Yeah. I find colour can be really distracting. The films are not my films. I happen to be a cinematographer on these films, and I've been very lucky in the career I've had, but these are my personal, you know, statements, doodles, whatever, sketches, you know, whatever you want to call them. This, this is something much more personal to me. So much easier being a team because, yeah. especially as a cinematographer, you want to focus on the visual, but there's so many other things to take care of, visual effects, um, production, and organization. Mm -hmm. So you always know you have someone that has your back and also understands what you're trying to achieve. The great thing about this show is, I don't think there, there won't be one person who hasn't seen Roger's cinematic work. And the, the added benefit was, it was Team Deacons, so we got James Deacons as well. And they're the perfect partnership, so it's really cool to work with the two of them. And uh, to do my second collaboration with Michael Hewlett is great too. This was his first love before he found films. This is what he wanted to do in life. He wanted to work for Magnum Photos. He wanted to be that humanist street photographer and life does what life does and he found himself in another career, but this never went away. It's like I said, you're, you're getting the true Roger Deakins in every image that's here on the wall.